hello everybody welcome back in the project in this video lecture we will be working over here in the go to cart page we must have a page cart if someone clicks go to cart so they can see their details of the items which they have added to their shopping cart so we can simply go to this uh, you know we have a page over here index.php simply we can make a duplicate of this page by going to file menu and just simply save is inside the same folder e-commerce we can save it with the name cart.php this will be our cart page simply save it and we will remove this I mean these things from the products box division which is basically for the home page so we need to remove them because this page is now cart.php this is the copy of uh, index.php so we will just simply remove them and I will save using control s now go and refresh the page and if you click this go to cart so we are now cart.php page because we already had given the link go to cart to this link go to cart so basically there is nothing but we can actually add something to this area the first thing the first and foremost thing is to create a form uh, form which action will be the same cart.php page e-commerce and backslash cart.php and uh, or you can say nothing nothing should be actually the action and uh, method will be method of the form will be something like post and uh, ink type ink type will be because we will also display images so ink type mul uh, must be added multiple form data that's it and we will just close this over here and now inside this form we'll create a table which uh, align will be center and uh, width will be something like uh, 700 pixel and BG color will be sky blue that's it we close this table as well inside the table as usual we will add some TRs for example uh, the first TR will be for showing uh, TD and inside the TD we will just simply add an H2 link I mean H2 where H2 tag inside the H2 HTML tag we will write something like uh, I mean update your cart or checkout that's simple text we can say this will be a line center I mean this TR and uh, the TD will be calls having call span which actually merge uh, it will be something like 5 so it will merge the other uh, TDs and the second row basically and the second row is this we are creating right now this is the second TD inside the second td we will have some more uh, i mean some th basically th takes which are tab which are which are used for table heading so five times we may have we can have i mean four times the first one will we write something like remove second will be product and products and in third we will say quantity 
quantity and the last we'll see total price that's it we need to say in this TR as well a line center line center yes that's very simple now we can check out this table whether it's appearing there or not I have said we have simply created inside the this division take we remove the already functions uh, I mean because this is now a card.php page and we simply inserted a form take and inside that this is the table so just refresh and you can see update your cart or check out we can remove this update or check out because this is not necessary control s to save and come over here refresh the page you can see this is something like uh, remove products quantity and we may have the products title and image or here uh, below this and the quantity below this and the total price over here and remove uh, below that so the simplest thing is to basically do we can simply add a BR tag over here so table will be a little bit table will have some distance you know something like this but we can remove this as well if you need you can add if you don't want then it's very simple okay now let's come and uh, after this tr I mean where we have just added the table headings to this tr we can simply do something like uh, PHP work for PHP work we will insert PHP starting and ending take and in here we will copy this uh, total price function hold the function from here till here yes that's it I copy it because we don't need the function we direct can uh, you know use it directly over here so we need actually to display the prices of the products and the products themselves is and also if someone wants to update the products quantity etc so this kind of things we can do over here so this is the PHP code we can make some changes to it so here you can see we said uh, you know get the IP of the user and go to cart get the price and things like that anyways now we can simply uh, this is the product ID and after that here we have got the I mean we have got the price over here you can see but at the same time we can uh, get the product title product underscore title will be is equal to PP price and inside the table of products we have product underscore title field from where we can get the title of the product because we already already got the price and we have some of that is you know already done in previous video but now we can also uh, get the title from can retrieve the title from the table and with the title we can also say product underscore image is equal to pp underscore uh, price and product image this is inside the table in the database and uh, what we need more single price okay so single price will be something like uh, you can say single underscore price because this variable is having the total price is an array and we have also some uh, calculated it over here so what is the single price for product so we need to show or uh, display here the single products one by one so we can also uh, we want to show their prices as well here and at the end of the the table we will show the subtotal so we can then uh, echo this one I mean this total variable but we also need the single prices of the products so single price is a local variable which will be equal to PP price and uh, product price 
product price this is actually we are getting the same thing from the table again we got this thing here as well but we used array so this product underscore price has all the products at once in this and this is the single one I mean we don't use the array over here so that's understandable now uh, very simply uh, we have done our job over here what we needed we have got that in the local variables from the table and uh, at the end oh sorry I have not uh, actually uh, gave on the there is some problem in either the PHP code or somewhere oh we have remember uh, we have just forgot adding single quote over here now that's okay fine so after getting the values and uh, all the things you can see the table the first tr is here at this position or this location after that after the php ending take we can insert another tr over here so where we can actually uh, show where we can actually display the products and the things so the first tr td will be like this and then start one td and this is second we'll copy both of them and we'll paste below so we need four tds basically here so this uh, we can also make a center align center line is equal to center and in here we will simply uh, echo no sorry here we need to in, uh, add an input take with types will be is equal to checkbox check uh, box and its name will be is equal to uh, remove and we will add two square brackets because we will use it in a function later so that's it and uh, in the second one we will use something like uh, I mean will echo in a PHP take will echo uh, product title and BR we will insert a BR take and after that we will once again be inside the PHP brackets we will simply echo sorry after after BR we will add uh, an image tag over here its source will be admin underscore area product underscore images and then we will say inside the PHP block we will echo product image that is very very simple and its width will be is equal to something like 60 pixel and height will be 60 pixel that's it so control s to save and let's check this refresh this you can see Nokia tablet but this is only one what this is actually only one uh, product and one title because we have not closed the while loop after this er, uh, this I mean this tr because we need to close this while loop 
after that tr we need to remove these two curly brackets from here and close it there so it can run a while loop here we will just insert php and one close curly bracket and another closed s2 control s to save now come back refresh the page you will see there are three products and three check boxes but this is what need to remove that you need to check that what is that go uh, there and products here you see oh sorry we have echoed total here we don't know uh, we don't need to echo this uh, control s to save i have removed that because that was for the function not here yes now you can see it's very clear so basically these are the remove if someone wants to remove they can click and click update button we will create later and can remove if they want remove they want to remove any product from this shopping cart and for the quantity part we will simply add uh, here this is the quantity part we will add an input type is equal to text and its size will be is equal to 5 6 and name will be QTY I mean quantity that's it control is to save now come here press the page and you see quantity the size is a little bit bigger so we can make it 3 or 4 that's it here a person can enter a quantity they want that we will keep that there after updating the this shopping cart and we can also now display the total price for each product over here you know in subtotal after at the end so very simply this is the last TD here we will just say in a PHP block we'll just echo because the data is coming will simply echo this variable single price single price that's it control is to save and now refresh it and you can see this is the 1200 for this and 900 for this and 450 for this product and total becomes 2550 and we can also add inside the two uh, I mean double quotes we can insert the dollar sign and after that insert the dot sign to concatenate this with this value inside the echo statement so there will be a dollar sign as well with this with the prices this yeah refresh I have refreshed and you can see now the dollar sign is there with the price that's it uh, very simply we have done this and uh, now uh, we can simply display the total price or here at the end of the table uh, here in a separate TR so just we will come over here we'll say we'll say it's create another TR TR close inside in there we'll say TD and inside the td we will insert a b tag to make it bold and we'll write sub total and b and td in another td we'll simply use php starting and ending tag to echo sorry we need to create that variable again values is equal to uh, array sum 
product underscore price after that very simply total is equal to total is equal total plus is equal to values so we have the uh, the total uh, price variable here we can simply code that in this last td total and we can also add this dollar sign and the dot sign to this as well copy paste control s to save now come over here and refresh your page you can see subtotal is 2000 uh, 2550 but we need to make it at this level i mean it uh, right side simply go and say align of this tr will be right that's it and uh, do less to save replace the page and you will see uh, this is here and this is here but you can make sure to add some call span to the first one some five five call spans so it will make uh, it will merge uh, the tr basically it will merge the tr you can see now subtotal this and this is also subtotal 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 so we need to actually do something more just copy cut this whole tr and put it after the i mean the this block this while loop I have just cop cut it and pasted it here. Now refresh the page, and you will see there are the prices, these are the quantities, there are the products, the title, and the subtotal is here. We can also add call span 5 to this as well. No, to this we will add 4 dollars to save and refresh the page but uh, we can add call span to this also control s to save and now you can see but we can use uh, I mean some CSS to style up this whole table or the data inside it but uh, anyways no problem this is okay at the moment your total price 2550 so in next uh, tutorial in next video lecture we will create the update continue shopping button uh, uh, we will add update card button and continue shopping or checkout button at this moment after in a new TR. Stay tuned.